Hi, I have the very cutest card to show you today. It is a cutout fun flap. And here is a little sneak peek of what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you how to make this card and a couple other ways that you can make it. So you're gonna have several examples and hopefully that's enough to inspire you. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna get started. All right, now I'm gonna show you a little bit more of a close up of this card. It is got a window and then it has this really cute fun flap to reveal your message. I was inspired to make this card by something, another demonstrator from Australia, uh, a card that Elisa Tilsner made, and I just thought it was so cute and I wanted to try it myself. So here is the card that we're going to be making today. We are going to be using the Sweet Ice Cream Suite of Products and this is the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper. It's got some really, really cute patterns. And then we're also going to be using the Ice Cream Cone Builder. So this is the punch that we're going to be using. And we're also going to be using the Hippo and Friends dies. So I'm gonna have those ready. So what we need is our card base. And I have some Pool Party. And I am just going to fold that in half, and then I'm gonna give that a burnish. Okay, then we need a piece of our designer series paper, and I've chosen this pattern. This is four by five and a quarter. So what we need to do is position this onto our card base, and then we need to secure it. And I have some low tack tape that I've kind of put my fingers over it to make it so it's even less tacky. So we wanna position this right in the center of our card, but we don't wanna glue it down at this point. We just want to adhere it so it'll hold it in place. I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of tape on here. And then we are going to select our dies. So for this one, I have selected, oh, get this out, uh, the largest of these shapes. And we are going to just position this um, on our card. We have to have enough space down here for our sentiment. So we just wanna make sure it's centered from side to side. And then, oh, if I drop everything onto the floor, I'm gonna put some more of my low tack tape on to hold it in place. So I'm just gonna put a couple pieces. And then I am going to uh, run this through my Stampin' Cotton um, emboss folder. I also want to run through um, this size die on a piece of Bermuda Bay and another one of this size in the white. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm back. When you take off your low tack tape, you just wanna be very careful with it um, so that it doesn't tear your paper. So this is what we have after cutting it out. We've got the piece that cut out from the center and then this piece, which we're gonna use. This I'm gonna set aside. You can use it for another project. And then I have the Bermuda Bay, which is one size smaller and then the same size in the white. All right, so now we can take this and we can adhere it to our card front. And you wanna make sure that you get some glue close to your edges um, where this is going to be um, with the opening. So get my glue to start. Wow, this is just not working right. So let me go get another glue. Hang on one second. All right, now I have a brand new glue. So we're just gonna put some glue all the way around the edges. Boy, it is not my night with glue. All right. So like I said, you wanna have it pretty close to this edge. Not a lot of glue, but um, close to where you need those edges secured. And then we are just going to lay that right on top and it should line up exactly with your opening. And you can you can adjust it a little bit if you need to, and then give that a good press. Okay, so this is our card. Looks like that. 
So then what we want to do is stamp our sentiments. So I have a couple strips of one inch. Um, this one's by about four inches. This one's about three and a half. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be trimming this down. And I'm going to use some Bermuda Bay ink. And we are going to stamp our greeting. I'm going to move this one out of the way. And we're going to stamp this happy birthday. It's a great large stamp set. I'm going to get lots of ink on it. And I'm just going to stamp it right here. Ah, pretty good. Clean that off. And then I'm going to take, I've got my little mini trimmer, and I am just going to trim this down a little bit. I don't want to cover up too much of my pretty um, designer series paper. Alright, set that aside. And we're going to use that again, so I'm going to leave it open. And we're going to pop that up in a minute. But I also have a piece of paper. This is white. This is three and three quarters by five. And all I'm going to do is position it here in the center of my card. And I'm going to close this. This is just going to give me where this window is. And I am going to stamp this treat yourself also in the Bermuda Bay right in the middle. Okay, perfect. We're done with the Bermuda Bay. We'll close that up and set that aside. So now we're going to um, put our happy birthday. We're going to pop that up with dimensionals. So I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to put three of them here on this. And I'm going to pop this right at the bottom of the card. I'm going to center it from side to side and in the space there. Okay. All right, so now we're ready to do our ice cream cone. We're going to need uh, these pieces. We're also going to need a scrap of the um, ice cream paper. And I have lost a piece of paper that I need. Oh. I don't know where it went. Oh, it fell on the floor when I dropped the other things. Okay, so this is another scrap. And we are gonna use this to cut out our ice cream. So I'm going to open up my punch and I'm going to use this section here. I'm just gonna center that where I want it and cut that out. And then I'm going to take my cone paper and I'm gonna cut out I don't want to waste so much of it. I'm going to cut out my ice cream cone like that. Okay, so that is done. I'm going to set those aside and we are done with this bunch. So what I want to do is just put a tiny bit of glue right on this edge. All right, there. And then I can attach my cone to that. Shift it over a little bit. Now one thing I notice is it looks a little bit of a rough edge. So I'm gonna grab my cinnamon cider and I am just going to run that over it and that just gives it that darker edge it covers up that white okay all right then we have these two layers which we can put together do a little bit of glue and we're going to center that by the way i have a piercing mat that i've just covered with some scrap paper um, using the photopolymer stamps, it's sometimes nicer to have just a little bit of extra cushion for those. And then we are going to pop up our ice cream cone onto this. And we're just going to put that right in the center. I'm 
All right, now we need to do our flap. So remember I said we had another piece. Um, this was one inch by uh, about three and a half. We're gonna fold that, not quite in half, and we're gonna give that a good crease. And then we are going to take our card with our inside piece, and we are going to just position this. I'm gonna have the shorter end underneath, and I'm just gonna hold it there so I can move it. I've got my base positioned roughly where I need it, and then I can move this up or down, you know, depending on where it hits. You want it to hit somewhere in the middle of this. So I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. That looks good. And I'm gonna hold it there, and I'm gonna turn this over, and then I'm gonna put glue on this flap here. that into place. Give that a minute to set up and then we can add glue over this entire panel. And then we're going to put that right into the center of our card. So we're just going to center it like this and press that down. Okay, so now we are ready. We can close our card and we are going to attach this and it's going to fit perfectly in this hole because it's cut out from the same size. So I'm going to have my card closed and I'm going to put glue just on this part that you can see. Okay, you don't want to get it um, too close to the edge and then we're going to lay this piece right in. It's just like a puzzle and we're going to press that down. So now we have that attached to our flap. Okay, and then when we turn this over, we are gonna take our piece that cut out from that front panel, and we're gonna add our adhesive to that. We do wanna get this fairly close to the edges. And that is gonna go right on top of this flap. It's going to line up exactly. I'll just give it a little little adjustment to make sure it lines up and then you have your adorable card. Now, isn't that so cute? Now if you wanted to, you could embellish this. You could add some sequins, you could add some sprinkles, whatever you wanted to do to it. But I thought it was really cute. But now I think we need to make an envelope to go with this. So I'm gonna show you a cute little technique and we are going to use some Coastal Cabana and we are going to stamp on just a piece of scrap paper. And then I'm also gonna stamp this onto the corner of our card. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my sprinkles and I think I'm gonna do those in Bermuda Bay so they stand out a little bit more. So we're gonna add a Bermuda Bay. We're gonna have sprinkles because sprinkles are for winners. Go ahead and do that. And I'm going to close this up. Now, the reason I stamped on scrap paper is because we're going to make a little bit of a mask. Because we want to stamp our ice cream cone, but we don't want it to um, be overlapping this. So what I'm going to do is take my scissors, and I'm just going to just cut out right along the edge. A lot of times when we cut things out, we leave a little bit of white space. And this one, we don't. We want to just cut right at the edge. And it doesn't have to be, you know, super exact. All we're going to do is block off this so that when we stamp our cone, it's not going to stamp there. So we're going to position that over our cone, our ice cream part of the cone anyway, and we're going to get our waffle cone. So I'm going to just line this up and I'm going to leave the tiniest bit of it showing and then I'm going to stamp over so you can see that I'm overlapping that bit of paper but doesn't that look great the way the ice cream is sticking out over the cone like it should be and then we're just going to add the little bit of the waffle texture on here and then we have an adorable envelope to match okay so that is our card and I said 
Now I have some other examples to show you. I had so much fun playing with this layout. Um, here is a card I made with um, our new Hey Birthday Chick and our Hey Chick that was brought back. Um, that was a celebration item a few years back and they have brought it back and there are dies to go with it and I love this set. I've had so much fun making cards. So this one I chose to do my outline or my cutout in an oval. And there is my chick with her crazy colored hair and there's the inside of that one. I just think this is so adorable. And then I did one with our flowering cactus set. This one is adorable. Well, it's more pretty than adorable. Happy looks good on you. And then when you open this one up, hope your birthday is filled with beautiful things. So there you have it. This wonderful cutout fun flap card. And I've got a couple. Oh, look at, look at that little chick. Isn't she so cute? Um, and here are some of the cards that I have made with it. And then our um, birthday cone one. So let me know which one is your favorite. Um, I would love it if you would share this video with your friends and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you need a demonstrator, I would love to be yours. And if you have ideas of things that you would like me to demonstrate in my videos, um, please put that in the comments. I'm always looking for ways that I can improve and, and make this more meaningful for you. So once again, thank you for watching. And you can look to my blog to get details and measurements on the cards that I have made today. Thanks so much.